Ron DeSantis, the increasingly fascist and increasingly distant second-place choice for the Republican nomination, made a refreshingly blunt statement on the Fox Propaganda Network about his hypocritical intentions should he win the presidency. Intrigued? Then click that like and subscribe, and enjoy the video. It says so much about the state of the current modern-day Republican Party and conservative movement that these increasingly authoritarian and fascistic politicians are becoming much more blunt and much less veiled in terms of their hypocrisy and their sinister intent should they take power. And we should listen. So Ron DeSantis, the current Republican governor of Florida and the increasingly distant second place choice for the Republican nomination for the 2024 election, uh, gave an interview on the Fox Propaganda Network when he was asked a question about what he would do about the deep state and various federal agencies, which he has long decried and long blamed for, you know, intense corruption sweeping the nation. Well, if he becomes president, what would you do about them? And we need to listen to his answer, and we'll unpack it from there. So let him take it from here. In favor of, of eliminating any agencies, I know conservatives in the past have talked about closing the Department of Education. Would you do that? So we would do education, we would do commerce, we do energy, and we would do IRS. And so if Congress will work with me on doing that, we'll be able to reduce uh, the, the size and scope of government. But what I'm also going to do, Martha, is be prepared. If Congress won't go that far, I'm going to use those agencies to push back against woke ideology and against the leftism that we see creeping into all institutions of American life. So, for example, with Department of Education, we reverse all the transgender sports stuff. Women's sports should be protected. We reverse policies trying to inject the curriculum into our schools. That will all be gone. We will make sure we have an accreditation system for higher ed, which is not trying to foment more things like DEI and CRT. So we'll be prepared to do both. Uh, either way, it'll be a win for conservatives. All right, so he wants to abolish the Department of Education, Commerce, Energy, and the IRS. The IRS being perhaps the only federal agency which is revenue positive, right? It doesn't just regulate, doesn't just help govern. It actually increases revenue uh, for the federal government. You pay $1 to the IRS, we net four in return or something like that. So it's an extremely beneficial uh, federal agency. And of course, he wants to abolish it. But as we've discussed, um, the conservative notion of deregulation with respect to the market and commerce and education, there's absolutely no evidence that any of this would be beneficial. As we've discussed, the poorest, least educated states in the country are overwhelmingly Republican and are led by Republicans. So there's actually, not only is there no evidence to support his notions, uh, there's a litany, there's an overwhelming evidence to the contrary. But note the remainder of his answer, okay? If I can't get rid of them, I will use them, I will weaponize them to my advantage to crush woke ideology. Because again, right or wrong, Ron DeSantis has pitched his entire campaign on the, these niche culture war issues, which appeal to terminally online culture warriors, people who think that Twitter is the real world, and so they hyper-focus on Facebook memes and you know trans-athlete dialogue. And, and it noted that that was even one of the examples he cites. This man is so emblematic of the party that he represents because he is so laser focused on issues that even if you find meritable, even if you find them meritous, that there's something to them, there's such a niche component of everyday life. Whether or not there's a trans athlete in some school, on some swim program, somewhere has absolutely zero bearing on 99.999998% of the American public, liberal, conservative, left, right, it doesn't matter. But the Republican Party has basically quietly forfeited the game. They recognize when it comes to matters of substance, which matter to everyday Americans, which impact their social policy, what impacts their checkbooks, the kitchen table issues, Republicans suck at addressing these infinitely worse than Democrats. They are just factually, consistently failures in this respect compared to Democrats, which is why you see Ron DeSantis here. He doesn't even bother to campaign on the issue. He says, listen, I'm going to be focusing on woke ideology and the leftism, which has infiltrated this country, like the handful of trans athletes who are competing in some sort of extracurricular program or some sort of like, uh, it, that's, that's where they are. And 
the fact of the matter is, I don't think that that attitude is going to be changing anytime soon. And also note what he says, the way he concludes, either way, it will be a win for conservatives. Now, the irony, of course, is it really won't be. If Ron DeSantis gets his way, it will be a win for some conservatives, not even the majority of conservatives, because again, whether the majority of conservatives and Fox News viewers realize it, their lives are really not directly impacted by trans athletes, okay? It just doesn't matter. So even if he gives them what they want, it actually won't be a win for them because it's not going to make them less poor. It's not going to make them more educated. It's not going to make them less reliant on blue states, blue cities, and federal subsidies. It doesn't matter. But he is so focused on winning a niche element of the right-wing movement. And the other problem is, as we've discussed before, the more Ron DeSantis runs to the right to focus on a niche, right-wing, deluded audience, he further distances himself from winning in the general election. Because the fact of the matter is, the Republican Party, even as a whole, if you got every Republican in the country to vote for you, you still don't win the majority. There are more left-leaning independents and Democrats and Democratic sympathizing uh, independents than there are Republicans. The Republican Party will not win you the presidency, at least not based on a majority vote. So the more he appeals to this fringe, weird, radicalized, far-right element, he is further distancing himself from both the left and the middle. So Anyway, you need to hear this stuff. When people tell you what they are, how hypocritical they are, like, yeah, I want to do this, this, and this for this absurd reason, and if I can't get what I want, I'm going to weaponize what's there against my political opponents, which, if you recall, is the very same criticism they claim of President Biden and the Biden administration. They're weaponizing government against their enemies. And here you have Ron DeSantis saying, I will do the same thing. I want to do that. That's something I want to do if I can't have my way in another respect. So... Anyway, it's a, it's a great mask off moment for Ron DeSantis, and it is completely symptomatic of what the Republican Party has become. So please pay attention to it.